This is Megapine. Megapine. M I P. With Masamela Matsumo. Mark Thompson. Megapine. Get woke. Sisters and brothers, mamas and babas, ladies and gentlemen, during the course of the week, I've introduced our very special guest every day. And it's important to do that so we know uh, who our loved ones are and who is representing us. And we always respect and honor the great work that elders and creators such as our special guests this week are doing. But not only for that, I've also, you know, vocally shared a bibliography because he's talked about several things. And even this holiday, Kwanzaa, is not in isolation. So we say we're sharing this information with you. And not only might you celebrate Kwanzaa this week, but throughout the year, enlighten yourselves, educate yourselves on some of the other works out here to read and to embrace and to understand. Uh, and we'll put this in writing, too, and we'll show you where to find it um, so you can go and look at the bibliography yourself. The book that has been written about him definitively by Dr. Malefi Asante is entitled Maulana Karinga, an Intellectual Portrait. Our guest himself has published the following essays on struggle, position and analysis, kawaii and questions of life and struggle, ma'at, the moral ideal in ancient Egypt, a study in classical African ethics. He's, he's quoted from some of these works during the course of the week. Uh, he's also written an introduction to black studies. Now it's fourth edition, the Husea, the sacred wisdom of ancient Egypt. Of course, he's alluded to that as well. And Oduifa, the ethical teachings. We also know he is working on another major work as we speak on the social and ethical philosophy of Malcolm X, El Haj Malik Al Shabazz, titled The Liberation Ethics of Malcolm X Critical Consciousness, Moral Grounding, and Transformative Struggle. He is the chair of the organization US, the National Association of Kawaii Organizations, and executive director of the African American Cultural Center and the Kawaii Institute of Pan African Studies, and also co chair of the Black Community Clergy and Labor Alliance, BCCLA, professor and chair of the Department of Africana Studies at California State University, Long Beach. Oh, but he's here with us this week as the creator of our Pan African cultural holiday, Kwanzaa, and the Nguza Saba, which means the seven principles, our fifth principle for this week. Our principle for today is Nia. So we say Habarigani to one another, and we respond to one another with the word Nia, which means purpose. Purpose, Nia, to make our collective vocation, building and developing of our community in order to restore our people to their traditional greatness. I feel restored already, having spoken to him all this week, and I hope you feel restored as well. We welcome back once again for this fifth day of Kwanzaa, Nia, Purpose, Dr. Maulana Karinga. Dr. Karinga Habarigani. Nia, good to see you again. Aside to sign it, uh, Reverend uh, uh, Matsumela, it's always good to come on your program. Thank you again for all the good work you're doing. I know uh, brothers and sisters out there, and all people of goodwill, all the progressive, must respect the work you've done to bring enlightenment. And Haji Malcolm said, we need enlightenment. You know, we need more knowledge, you know, and that if we do knowledge, we do love. And if we do love, we do patience. If we do patience, we can build the kind of unity we need to struggle to bring good into the world. So that's what we need to always do, is to know each other, know each other in the fullest and most beautiful ways and build on the richness of our minds and our hearts. And Nia is about mind and heart, right? The fifth principle is Nia, purpose. The text, Kwanzaa, a celebration of family, community, and culture, tells us that this principle calls on us to make our collective vocation the building and developing of our community in order to restore our people to their traditional greatness. Now, it's important to listen to that. What is this thing we call traditional greatness? It is important to recognize that in the best of the African ethical tradition, greatness does not lie in material wealth. It does not lie in military might, scientific or technological knowledge, but in the good we do with what we have. 
greatness lies in the good we do with what we have. Therefore, the who see a sacred text of ancient Egypt said, listen, the wise are known by their wisdom, but the great are known by their good deeds, right? This teaching instructs us to move beyond the idol worship of wealth, technology, and science without, de- without condemning them, but to move beyond that. Don't worship them. And to raise questions and seek answers to what? How to put them in the service of the masses of people who need them most, as Dr. Mir McClavatoon, Nana Dr. Mir McClavatoon, urged us to do. She said, look, knowledge is the prime need of the hour. But people want to know, what are you going to do with your knowledge? And she says, it's up to us who know to discover the dawn and then hmm, put it in the service of the masses and our people who need it most, right? Our people need it. Our young people need it, right? Our ill people need it. Our ordinary people need it. They need this knowledge and they need your service. In a word, we are compelled to ask in all we do, how does it benefit the world and the people in it who need it most? First, how does it benefit us as a people? How does it benefit society? How does it benefit the world? I, so we got gadgets, but maybe the gadgets are distracted. Maybe being able to look up an answer keeps us from getting knowledge. We got information, but we miss knowledge. Maybe it teaches us not to think, but to just search, right? And look for ready-made answers. What does that do to the human mind? How is this, how is this kind of technology changing us? And who gets it? And how do we share it, right? Dr. Batum said we have to share the knowledge we have. Knowledge, we say in Kawaita, my philosophy, which is an ongoing sentence of the best of African sensitivity thought and practice in constant exchange to world, it teaches that we must think deeply about what we're doing, that knowledge is not simply knowledge for knowledge's sake, knowledge is for human sake, right? We want to know how does it improve the human condition and help shape the human future. How does it do that? The teachings of the Husea apparently and reinforce the teachings of the other sacred texts we use. Oh, do we find? It says, let's do things with joy. For surely, humans have been divinely chosen to bring good in the world. And this is the fundamental mission and meaning of human life. So let us do good in the world and for the world. Let us be exalted by the good we do. The good heaven and history have chosen us to do. We are chosen by history and heaven to do good in the world. And even as we're chosen, let us choose to be chosen. Not over and against any other people but chosen with all other people to create, increase, and sustain good in the world. And in this choosing, let us always choose life over death, justice over injustice, freedom over oppression, self-inflicted or imposed peace. Oh, self let us choose freedom over oppression, over self-inflicted and imposed peace. Let us choose freedom and peace over war. Let us choose love over hatred. Let us choose truth over lies in any form. And let us choose sisterhood and brotherhood and love and friendship over the tendency to just hate excellence and to hate difference and to fear it as our oppressor does. Our oppressor cannot be our teacher and our allies, if they're wrong, cannot be our tutor. We must speak our own special culture truth. We must dig deep in our own history. Practice good to Jagalia and have a purpose that is good for us and the world. A purpose dedicated to African and human good and the well-being of the world. In this, then, lies the mere meaning of our lives. To choose to do and to do good in the world. And to do it not only for ourselves, but again, for all the people of the world. But the Odu tells us that. When it is our turn to take responsibility for the world, we should do good for the world. And indeed, it says, doing good worldwide is the best expression of character. Is that a beautiful teaching or not? Doing good worldwide is the best expression of character. For surely, 
everyone deserves and has a right to the good and goods of and in the world. Let's share the good. All great good is shared good. Our purpose is to bring good into the world and not let any good be lost. That returns our people to their traditional greatness. Amen again, Dr. Maulana Karinga. Folks, I just want to lift up one. He said a lot. I want to lift up one thing. He talked about information versus knowledge. Mm -hmm. And we know how our people are more targeted for disinformation. Yes. Than the group. And what I hear from that is that we can't be victims of disinformation if we have knowledge. We can be victims of disinformation if we have knowledge, sisters and brothers. So just keep that in mind. These are just jewels for you to take every day, for you to think and think deeply about them, as he said. Don't just be a spectator, but listen to the words Dr. Karinga has been sharing us with this week. Share them with your families and your loved ones and think deeply about them and reflect on them. And then, please, the bibliography, the books you should, people are, what can I read? We've been sharing that with you all week and we'll continue to do so. We'll be back tomorrow for the sixth day of Kwanzaa. Asante sana, Dr. Karinga. Asante to us all. Thanks for getting woke and listening to Make It Plain. As always, perform an act of kindness on behalf of an elder or young person. Write a letter to a sister or brother who just so happens to find her or himself incarcerated. Offer libations to the ancestors upon whose sturdy shoulders we all now stand. And above all, give thanks to the God of your understanding by whatever name you call her and him. All God asks of us is that we give each other love. Thanks for giving MIP love. And please remember to subscribe and give us a five-star rating. If all hearts and minds are clear, it has been made plain.